Hello, my name is Shadley and welcome back for another episode of uh, Ratchet Riches in Supreme Roller Ultimate. In previous episode, we managed to take out a large chunk of land here, mostly by taking the barracks over here in Saramo. And, um, yeah, no, that freed up a lot of bit troops here. I think what we're going to do now is try to get around to this sort of line along the river here. Not river, <laughs> road in here, and then just capture the rest of that. Which hopefully will work. I'm not entirely sure if we'll get that very quickly though, but we'll do our best. I mean, it might actually be done rather swiftly, all things considered. And in the meanwhile, we're trying to hold the line near the border here, but yeah, we couldn't really hold all of that, even though now that we're allied with Botswana, they, mm, well, at least we're not losing the garrisons over here anymore, for the time being. But they're not really that strong. We could maybe take that in here and that over here. Oh, that's some Saudi Arabian troops here. Let's go ahead and intercept them. There's two tanks in there. They, well, they can take a few hits. But not many. Go ahead and get some of the bit in here. We got the... Garrison, well, it's slowly forming up at least. There we go. So that's uh, under control now. Well, kind of under control now. Uh, over here, the border is the. We need to get some more troops down that way. We don't really have any around. Well, any good troops around there anyway. Um, do we have any more produced up north? Not there. Got two over here. Um, would that be sufficient? It would take them a long while to get in there, to be fair. Let's get you down here first. Then make our way down here and st start helping on kind of defending the trench line here while the garrisons are forming up. I mean, uh, Three unit garrison is already strong enough to push back a single unit on their own. I would say, which isn't necessarily a very high bar, to be fair. But it is only better than nothing. Right, actually. Well, yeah, we can just push the border down, or the front down here. Kind of along the road, or along the edge of the forest here, to the road, and take the airfield. Which actually does have some friendly planes. Which is uh, certainly a pleasant surprise. Ah. Okay, that's the group 17, which I'm not entirely sure where the last one is. Oh, it went to repair all the way in there. Okay, well, that's a bit far away. But sure enough. I guess the main thing is that it gets repaired at least. But there is a, quite a pocket in here. We might be able to cut that off again soon enough. Uh, how are we doing down here? The garrison is still on the brink of destruction. Okay, well, we need a bit more troops there then. But that again is a bit easier said than done. I mean, technically, if we just wait for long enough, we will have some more troops. Um, let's see, we can move you to the road, you to the road. You'll stay out there, you'll stay out there. I mean, I suppose we could have someone move down here about. There we go, so we've retaken a bit more control here. The infantry is going to be the... Oh, right. Oh, this is just six units. I see. Uh, how about you take the... And are being there at the corner, then you'll stay at the open. Although, actually, we're gonna need someone to defend that. And. Oh, right, we just lost some land due to the lack of supplies. Now, let's see, Micronesia. Oh, wow, that is a massively good price. It's 90 days, but guys, <laughs> 1.3 billion or 360 million. But yeah. I'll take it. Um, Yemen is offering a pretty good price as well. Sudan, not so much. 
and Andorra not so much. Right, oh, we do have IF2 in here. Where is the rest of this group? Most of it is not in the open right now. Or color me confused. Oh, the Ethiopians were up there again. All right, all right. Um, I think these two groups are still good enough for now. Okay, so the infantry is moving out. Do we have? Oh crap! Who did I send to move in there? You, um, not necessarily what I wanted. Where is the rest of your group anyway? Oh, it's this group. Okay, how about you get there? Right, if you're taking that. There's some, oh, there's some Israel, or oh, tanks from Israel in here as well. Because that is, oh, it's not under our control yet, but we're, oh. Oh, lovely. Friendly and friendly action. At least we're not taking the damage there. I'm not too worried about it. We have 277 billion, so we, well, we're getting a little bit of money again. It's not accumulating very quickly, though. Oh, is that? Oh, yeah. Tanzania is sending some troops here. And there's a lot of supply, <laughs> supply trucks from... Well, Netherlands, Algeria, I think Ireland. Oh, we did manage to capture that. I'm a bit surprised by that, but sure, I'll take it. I'll send in someone in there. To make sure that they... Oh, wow, that is actually a bit more garrisons than I expected. This, on the other hand, doesn't really have a garrison yet. And I will make sure to start building one up there as well. Oh, there was someone in there, wasn't there? Okay, um, we don't really have extra troops yet. We do have the infantry on... Oh, well, two infantry units on their way, but it's going to take a while. Um, I suppose I'm just going to send this one in. It was one of the engineer groups to, you know, build stuff. I was just going to send them down. Ooh, that one's going to get through here. Well, not necessarily through. And it's going to cause a bit of an issue, at least. But I suppose you can move south. Move there. Seven, oh, right, that's the 17th group. Right, we're gonna probably take the airfield now. And, okay, that's surrounded. Three units here, I suppose we can push the Slovakian unit in here. Was that? I think that's Slovakia, is that Slova... Well, we can check that, I suppose. I know that's Ukraine. Yeah, Slovakia. Right, well, that unit is no more. That's for sure, and then let's go ahead and get to the forest in here. There's one unit that we need to destroy, but that's... Should be quite easy to do actually. You're going there, how about you go there instead? Got the troops here, so let's go ahead and capture the airfield. There's a decent bit of units in there. But most of the planes are actually friendly, so they're not causing problems. Is that, that, if that's going there, that's going here. Right, we'll just keep these advancing. There we go, those garrisons are going down quick. Now that we've got the third group in there, the reinforcements won't arrive. And you can get into the city. There we go. And that's another successful advance in here. Um, right, there's still a lot of friendly troops there. Don't have a lot of units in here though. I mean, we have got on one more IF2, I suppose. Send it down south over there to help on the... <laughs> trench line here, which is... Oh, that's actually getting a lot of bombardment. 
Let's go ahead and destroy these units here. We got tank. Well, I think they had two tanks and maybe C. I'm gonna destroy these. There we go. Not entirely sure where the artillery that is firing at as is shooting from. Let's go around a little bit. It's probably oh there it is. Well. We found you. We couldn't really push you well, other than just tell you to get off our lawn, but Oh, there we go. Thank you, Liberia. You were very helpful in that. Right, we are actually getting a pretty good garrisons in here now. Go ahead and get that to three units. That's oh. Right, these some of these are not repairing. They were just uh, recently re recaptured. Okay, well, at least we've done a little bit there. Let's go ahead and move in the infantry further south. Take over the next area. Question is, is there anything over here that we really need to capture, or should we just set up some trenches along here? Now, of course, the trenches might not be sufficient. We'd need to have some troops. Of course, what I can do is just take over like the 27th battle group and the 17th battle group you can stay at the that, oh there's an airfield I suppose I could get a barracks in there sure why not I mean we do have one over there I suppose so it's relatively close but you know on the road it's uh well this is the road that we're going to be using to advance for well there's a like barracks over here actually well you can never have too many barracks it increases supply in here as well a little bit which actually is zero right now oh hold on a minute where did you come from right now that we gave you order recently but i thought oh well get you in there oh wait i just had two groups going to the same place never mind i'm an idiot right let's just go ahead and take these two groups take out the next barracks there's seven garrisons in there so it's not going to be necessarily all that easy to take over. Let's get you in here. But yeah, there's probably still going to be some troops approaching from the south, but I think we can do a decent work at... or a decent job at keeping them at bay. Actually, if we bring these two in here, we could have this uh, moving further south. Or going in here to capture that or intercept rather not capture um let's move in troops along the road again if we can take that then we could probably link up with these troops to up a line over here and along the road but yeah i think what i will do i will start building up a, a loose trench uh, kind of defense network in here all the road although well hmm that's that's a supply truck, okay. Humble there, we we'll just captured it. Oh, I didn't realize there was this many units here. Okay, let's have a look. Right, we didn't actually even start fighting the battle for the city itself, we're just fighting in the outskirts. But there is a lot of artillery in here, but if we could destroy it, it's gonna be really good. Okay, you should probably pull back. Oh, yeah, no, we're actually doing pretty good uh, work here, defeating the enemies. Hmm, I'm gonna give you a few moments. I wanna destroy this artillery sack first. Oh, wow, well, apparently that one as well. I suppose I could just take this unit and go around the other way. Destroy all the stacks around it first, and then I suppose let's go ahead and send in the 16th battle group. Get some infantry in here, get them some experience as well. Yeah, we just go around, destroy all the supporting artillery. They won't have that much units inside the city itself. Hopefully. Oh dear. Uh, we lost one of our um, ships to a submarine. Hmm, well, that's bad. Uh, luckily, the submarines can't conquer the sea zones, and we got definitely the supplies in here. But they also got the supplies, so that's probably going to be 
quite um, <laughs> immobile front for a while. Okay, let's go ahead and move in the troops here. The infantry is on its way, but I think we'll need to destroy this without the help of the infantry. That is quite a stack, but looks like the garrisons are losing a bit of uh, strength. I'm going to have to pull some of these troops back though. So I think we are going to have to wait for the infantry to get in here, but we can do some work on it to lower the amount of troops. And actually, I don't know if I've shown it on this playthrough, but there is a trick on destroying or just uh, wounding a lot of the garrisons. Like whenever they go down back into the city, like uh, not active, um, it means that there's actually less garrisons the next time that you attack. Assuming that you do enough damage, of course. Um, that's not a good offer. What about Liberia? That's not a good offer either. All right then. Maybe short. Hey, we're back to 2.7%. Oh, that's progress. All right, so that's a couple of alliances. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pull these troops back. So we can see that there's probably going to be like four garages next time that we attack, or once the infantry attacks. But there might be some other units in there, which is admittedly a problem. Let's get some troops down here, and I think these armies could start advancing a little bit. As well as these, yeah, across the river. Oh, and fire over there again. They haven't really taken much damage though, so I'm not really that concerned. I mean, in terms of manpower losses, there's probably been quite a bit. Okay, so we can... yeah, four garrisons there now, plus some other units, so once we attack with the infantry, it's potentially going to be still quite painful, actually. Uh, do we have supplies here? We do. So if we move in the f 2s here, they can resupply just about. Okay, 16 group, time to move in. Get rid of the garrisons. Uh, have you got on any of your... No, you don't have combat time left. Okay, so we'll need to wait a bit longer. I mean, well, there's a very tiny bit of supplies in there, so that kind of uh, reason why it's not going up very quickly. Oh, there's some enemies in there. Okay, um, you need to pull back already. I know that you are slow to retreat. There's still four garrisons, but we destroyed the tank in there. Still the APC and the garrison. Oh, and another combat engineer moving in, and that's a supply truck moving in, which means that they can keep on fighting a bit longer. Although, now we can move this group in. The extra firepower should allow us to destroy the garrison, or remaining garrisons, rather quickly. Yeah, there we go. Just gonna give this group orders to move in there. Actually, you can move in there as well. There's a barracks you can repair rather quickly. There's a bit of a gap in the front here. Um. Oh, right, we can actually start advancing in here now. We're gaining control of a lot of this. Uh, let's go ahead and move you guys in. There's a partial garrison in there. If we can destroy that tank, that'd be really nice. Which shouldn't really be an issue. It's just a matter of time. Uh, how are we doing in terms of military goods now? We are actually still gaining. Or gaining again. Of course, the amount of battles has dropped down quite drastically. Uh, there's uh, some big battles every now and then, but for the most part, the combats are... Quite a bit lessened from the early war. Go ahead and divide this into two stacks. Some of that is going to stand on the road. We need reinforcements. Others are not. We need reinforcements. So where was that? Um, Kuito, right. We'll look at some garrisons in there. Also, we should probably repair the stuff in here. Just in case. Get you guys in there. We can probably send in a lot of these units that are somewhat damaged into the city to repair. I'm not going to give them the repair order. But even if they just sit in the city, they will repair. Which is basically what we need right now. And then, of course, what I suppose I could do is just get a bit of garrisons over here on these trenches. This should be relatively safe though. Pretty sure that the enemy is starting to run rather low on supplies, which is exactly what we wanted. And so the next place to take over would be that. We'll probably have to wait a little bit longer before we have the firepower again. 
Unless we could switch over like this unit or something like that. Or that group in there. I suppose it would be possible. Oh, right, yeah, we got this group as well. Um, let's go ahead and send you... Well, actually, you'll probably be better at holding the from somewhere over here. All the time. Maybe we can build the trenches rather quickly with those. Okay, we got the infantry group mostly... Well, it's entrenched in there. Pull back a little bit. We got some Savannah fighting Ethiopians. Lovely. Uh, is there, there might still be some troops there. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want you to go in there. Use them there. Move these south. We're going to at least take a little bit more pressure in here. I suppose I could even send one of these to that stack. Do we have any more in here? Uh, not really. I mean, we do have... Oh, actually, no. We do have the engineer group. But you could uh, go ahead and help, especially on the kind of midsection of the front here. But yeah, if we can take that one, then it would probably be either the port or... Well, yeah, probably the port, actually. After that. Then pushing south to these areas. And then going for the capital and then that one. And that is all the towns that they have. We're actually getting pretty close to the end of the war by the looks of it. I mean, well, it's probably going to take several months still. All things going to... Oh! What a submarine prototype. And uh, Morocco wants to buy consumers, but the price is quite bad. And Iceland? That's a bit of a similar old problem there. Also, we can uh, move some of these down south. I mean, that, well, that is one of the places that we do need to capture. It does have airfield there. Hmm. Oh, right, we're not actually repairing the trench here. Ah, uh, we should probably do that. And then these two could be moved south, I think. Make these into a group and move there. Oh, there's some people moving in here. I'll probably stop them though. At least there's one unit. Oh, it's, it's the Germans. Oh, oh, two German units. Well, <laughs> at least push them back. And get you in there. Stack could be going in here, so slowly but surely we're making our way south. Have a nice little continuous front there, more or less. Get these in here. And um, most of this front's uh, duty is just to hold right now until we're taking that village, and then we're going to start making our way towards. Well, there's going to be a ton of artillery in here, but how much of that is going to be shooting at us, and how much of that is just going to be sitting there is the question. I mean, so far, so good. There's still a bit of a pocket there. Oh, right, yeah, we got a unit going in here. Do we have any more? Well, a couple over here that we could probably move in. I don't think they're really near that crossing point anymore. Okay, so we are still to fly over here from time to time, but I think we'll be holding that ground still relatively su successfully. Let's go ahead and get some more troops in here. If we could capture more of the front here, or the border here, that'd be really nice. And that is what we're going to do. Let's get to the next point. Destroy that. Is that a Polish tank? I believe it is a Polish tank. And some garrisons from the enemy here. How much do they have troops now? I know that they probably built up... Well, they lost some. Like 7,000 since the last time we checked. But I think they've actually lost a lot more than that. They are, of course, recruiting. Although the population has dropped quite drastically. We are 87, well, 87 million. So now we are on the first page again. Um, in terms of population, we seem to be 18 if my calculations are correct. Which for me is not bad. And in terms of money we... Oh wow, we're almost richer than USA now. Well, for momentarily before they take another loan. 
But yeah, overall, not bad, not bad at all. What about the amount of you? Oh, wow. 6,665. We just need to kill one more unit, I think. Question is, it's easy to kill more than one. So, can we manage to do just one? It's probably that garrison. There we go. So, if we now have. Yeah. 6666. Six, six, six. And I think that's actually a perfect place to end the episode then, because we are indeed out of time. So if you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, bye bye.